Hey, so let's. I want to talk about the Carly Russell incident that everybody's speaking about right now, and just a crazy incident, man. But you know, this is just another example of why you should always have the freedom. I mean, we have the freedom to do whatever, but people should allow give people the room to question anything because there was a lot of questions from the beginning. I had, I asked the same question to begin with when I first found out about the story, you know, she was the only one that heard this, saw this toddler on the side of the road. So, you know, of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Carly Russell story. The woman who went missing for two days after claiming she saw a toddler on the side of the road and you know the narrative it looked like she was abducted when she went to examine the child um while she was on the phone with her family she made a 911 call also but this 911 call she made was the only one that was documented and this is the question that i asked and i saw some other people asking i mean it's just you know it's common sense now, it's not to say that that's not possible. There's not a possibility that she couldn't have been the only one that identified that. But in most cases, if people are going to see that, if she was able to examine that toddler on the side of the road at night through you know, whatever her her uh, her lights or whatever, somebody else and other people, more times than not, there's going to be multiple people who are going to make that 911 call. Like I said, that doesn't rule out the possibility of her being the only one. But now, given the information of what we know about the case, uh, this chick was faking the whole entire time. Uh, since they saw her search history and she was searching, taking the damn movie, taking, uh, searching how to take money out of the register, out of the register without being caught, uh, looking up one-way bus tickets to, I think, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, man, it's just a whole bunch of... Whole bu oh, also how to uh, how to make an Amber Alert or how to pay for an Amber Alert. Just real low-down shit, man, and there's something going on with this girl. Also, you know, they, they said that... I heard a rumor that all of this was because she broke up with her boyfriend and was trying to get his attention or something like that. Who knows? It sounds like something this crazy chick would do if she's able to do all that other stuff. You know, love makes a lot of people do a lot of nutty shit, but who knows what it was about. But, you know, it's just unfortunate. You got a lot of people who are going, you know, you see cases every week of people who go missing. A lot of times they don't turn up, uh, they don't turn up living. Um, it's sad to see somebody who, who takes advantage of that system like that, takes advantage of people's time and energy, especially when they pour it into them. But, you know, it is what it is. Don't let that deter. That shouldn't let, you know, just shouldn't let a situation like this deter people for looking out for each other. You know, when you get an Amber Alert or anything like that or an alert of somebody missing, people taking the time out to keep their eyes open and give tips and certain things like that. You know, it, it, it doesn't take much to look out for each other and don't let something don't let one fool ruin it for everybody else and feel like you just can't trust anybody or can't look out for the next person. You're always going to have some idiots that exploit a situation, the, the Jussie Smollett types right now where they're gonna go with this the police are investigating sounds like uh she's not being cooperative not giving additional information so see where this goes uh it's a possibility she could be charged she's wasting taxpayer dollars and what you know making false reports on stuff and yeah this chick has a this chick has a clear problem. Has a clear problem, but this is why we question things. This is why you allow people to question things. I've seen too many instances of things like this where it turned out where people are asking uh legitimate questions, but then you have people who fall into 
the whole feelings type of thing. Oh, this is a woman and how dare you and people are grieving and this and that. And it's like, what does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything that has nothing to do with my point? Debunk what I'm saying. It's the same thing like with the whole COVID narrative and everything was going on with that. And people were asking the right questions, but people were being shamed for asking these questions and ostracized for asking these questions. And now you have things, you know, different, you know, all type of stuff being revealed about it two years later when people knew this same type of information years ago. So it is what it is. Don't let nobody shame you out of asking questions. Because when something smells funny, usually that's exactly what it is. And you get conclusions like this, man. I mean, you it was going to come out eventually. You know, the police were going to do their job. But even in our everyday lives, when we seeing things, even when you see things on the news and different stories that are being fed to you got to be able to ask questions you got to be able to use your critical thinking skills got to be able to, when we're dealing with each other it's a lot of people who are being deceptive this is how you catch them in the act certain shit just doesn't add up so hopefully this girl gets some get some help but she also needs to deal with some consequences, man. Anybody who does stuff like that, uh, I just, there's got to be some type of consequences. Mainly those folks who put uh, false charges on people and stuff like that. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it wasn't anybody in particular. But, you know, sometimes, especially what if she wanted to go all the way with this and uh, made a description of a person and, a wrong person. Think of how many people get wrongfully detained and stuff. We talk about Emmett Till and uh, Carolyn Bryant all the time, all the way from the 1950s. But think of all the all the different cases, no matter what races were involved or whatnot, all of the different races in the modern times to where somebody's been wrongfully detained and stuff like that. And think about, you know, they all of a sudden being detained and they have no reason why. And they're, you know, who, who's to say they want to comply? It's always probably if you want to go home, it's smarter to comply. But if you've done nothing and you dealing with police, especially a dickhead, you go every now and then you get a dickhead police officer you're dealing with people who, you know, are on that power drug. They're on a power trip at times. Some of them. That's what, you know, that's what power does to some people. You know, you risk doing that. So who's to say if it could have progressed to that, to that point to where she's sitting up there giving the description. I mean, you heard her give a description of what the baby was, said it was a matter of fact, I'm tripping. She did give a description. She said it was a, it was a white guy with orange hair and stuff like that. I mean, you could put somebody in danger doing some crap like that. So you know, it's the same thing as even if she it's the same thing as if she named somebody directly. Damn near the same thing. So, no, nah, it's not cool. I think she needs to. It's got to be some consequences. I'm not saying harsh consequences or anything, but there's got to be some type of consequences for actions like that. That stuff can't be tolerated. And too many uh, people get away. A lot of women get away with bullshit like that and put a lot of men in bad, uh, you know, in bad positions. And it takes away from the women who are really being abused and kidnapped by men. But, you know, like I said, don't let us one situation like this uh, stray you away from keeping your eyes out and being uh, willing to help the next person or help a person who may be in need or you know who may could possibly be in danger it doesn't take a lot of energy it doesn't take a lot of energy out of your day nobody's asking you to go out and be on a search team or anything like that but you know there were people who did volunteer at that time salute to them salute to them and hopefully this doesn't deter them from doing what they did
Anyway, that's all I got on this situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. But yeah, this Carly Russell. Uh, the police have come out. They've identified that, yeah, this, look, this looks to be a hoax. And they say there's no threat out there. And yep, that's pretty much, we can pretty much um, come to the conclusion that, yeah, she's a Jussie Smoo-Yay. So I'll holler at y'all later.